Tonight, an I-team investigation about the chaos in the days after Katrina. Okay, that there is a skull right here. Video never seen before shows human bones in a burned car. This video obtained by the I-team is now in the hands of the FBI as part of its investigation into the New Orleans Police Department involving a death in the days following Hurricane Katrina. Henry Glover was a guy from the Algiers section of New Orleans. On September 2nd, he was allegedly shot by a New Orleans police officer. And a guy named William Tanner rescued him after he'd been shot. And Tanner took him, ironically, to a place where more New Orleans police officers were camped out because Tanner thought that that was the best way to get him medical help because it was too far to go to the hospital. Me, his brother, and his brother-in-law rushed to Haven School. When we got to the area of the school, his brother was yelling out, I need medical attention, my brother got shot. I had five laser sighting guns pointed to my window. The cops asked me to get out of the car, but not in that tone of voice. The police did not help Henry Glover. They let him bleed to death in the back of the car, and they physically assaulted Tanner and the other men who were with him. They kicked me two times in the um, side with my stomach and my ribs that hit me with M16 rifle on the side of my face. The same cop that hit me with the rifle had took off in the car with two flares in his pocket, and I told his brother I wouldn't see that car no more. It was dumped on Mississippi River levee behind the 4th District Police Station. And there, somebody, we don't know who, set fire to the car. I had told Homeland Security guy about the story, and he verified I was telling the truth. And November the 3rd, he told me where my car was at, on Richmond Street behind the 4th District Police Station torch. And I found body fragments of the man in the back seat of this car right here. This is my white Malibu. As you see, you see the cans right on the side of what they used to ignite the car with. And then somebody stole a skull. And what? Somebody stole a skull. Who knows who knows who stole it, but it was stolen. And a bullet wound in his head was nine millimeter with a hollow point tip, explosive tip. And the only people got hot nine millimeters is an OPD, you got nine millimeter glots, and they took the skull. Why they took a skull? Because the bullet could be matched with the gun. I just want justice for him, you know? Because I don't think nobody deserved to die like that, you know? I want justice for him. The feds indict five New Orleans police officers, charging them with killing a man after Hurricane Katrina, then covering up the crime. U.S. Attorney Jim Letton says this man, David Warren, shot and killed Glover in Algiers. Letton then says these two officers, Dwayne Sherman and Greg McRae, took the car Glover was in and burned it with him inside, all in an effort to cover up the crime. And finally, prosecutors say these two officers, Robert Italiano and Travis McCabe, falsified reports in an attempt to throw off the FBI. Many say it's the biggest blow to the police department, yet the charges are so harsh, one of the men indicted, if convicted, could be executed for his crimes. If you go look at the history of the New Orleans Police Department, you're going to find other instance, instances of this. All I can say to you is that there is an element inside the New Orleans Police Department that is still fairly active. In my opinion, it's racist. Uh, and in my opinion, uh, now that I'm starting to see what, was, what has what happened right after Katrina and these cover-ups, uh, is something that uh, shouldn't have happened but did.